Assalamualaikum and hi. So today I will present about business model canvas for subject ENT 530. The company that I choose is Touch Lady. First of all, I would like to introduce myself first. My name is Nur Fashili binti Abdul Halim and I'm from class BA 2434E and my metric number is 2019-583717. Let's move to introduction. Dutch Lady is a household name in Malaysia and trace its origin in country to 1954. Dutch Lady Malaysia makes it our mission to help Malaysia move forward in life with trusted dairy nutrition. Every day, we enrich the life of millions of people by transforming milk into high quality food, drinks, and ingredients that offer nature based nutrition and great taste. In many cases, contribute to health and validity. Dutch Lady sees yogurt in being used in the morning occasion as a snack during the day. For the problem statement, the main problem faced by the Dutch Lady is the competitor which produce same product as Dutch Lady. To overcome this problem, we should have innovative and different from others. The purpose of our company is to manage a change in to sustain this brand among competitors in the market. So we have to take quick action to overcome the changes especially during the product life cycle where there is four stages such as introduction, growth, maturity and decline. Now we move to the SWOT analysis of the two competitors. These are some of the strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for these both competitors which is first is the unknown. The strength is loyalty customer, while for Nestle is a brand name. While for the witnesses, Danone has high brand switching, and for the Nestle is water controversy. Other than that, its opportunities for Danone is growing economy, and for Nestle is online shopping. While for the trees, Danone company has a government regulation, while Nestle has rising competition. Next, we move to the opportunity recognition. Dutch Lady take initiative to reduce the total consumption of sugar by 40% and we would make at least 90% of our product either without added sugar or reduced sugar from the level of the time. Other than that, Dutch Lady also have some problem in terms of the competitor that produce the same product as Dutch Lady. From that, Dutch Lady has taken initiative to create a new product with high quality nutrients, which is Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt that are healthy for families to enjoy. Next, we move to the purpose of BMC preparation. Business Model Canvas is a strategic management and lean startup template for developing new or documenting existing business model. It is a visual chart. With elements describing the Dutch Lady new product, which is raising yogurt value proposition, infrastructure, customer, and finance. Next, we move to business proposal. These are the business model canvas for Dutch Lady Industry Berhad. Let's move into detail in one by one. First is key partner. Dutch Lady Yogurt are partnered with a number of supermarkets. Retailing include all the activities that involve in selling product or services directly to the final customer for personal or non-business use. These retailers usually sell variety of goods available of high volume goods, low cost and convenience. The example are cold storage, Tesco and Giant. Other than that is 7E and Speedmart for the mini market. Next, we move to the key activities. Firstly, Dutch Lady use advertising strategies such as in television, radio, newspaper, and magazine. Current advertising slogans state that Dutch Lady is a trust, healthy, and happiness. Next is sales promotion being used by Dutch Lady to promote their product which is represent a set of different promotional activities that has the goal of customer for purchasing. It can attract more customers since they get more benefit from the product they purchase. 
after it public relation is the least obvious but most effective method of use by Dutch Lady because Dutch Lady distribute its newsletter annual report donation for charitable and civic event. For example, Dutch Lady do sponsor the athlete Olympic in London this year. Besides, give sample and free trial to customer. Let them have the opportunity to experience product which is small quantity for a short duration and without to purchase the product. Next, we move to the key resources. Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt Key Resources is corporate responsibility remain a key pillar of our business strategy. And as a leader in the dairy industry in Malaysia, we are committed to demonstrate responsibility corporate conduct across all aspects of our operations. Dutch Lady has the market opportunity to expand our business by offering healthier yogurt to the market. Dutch Lady will create public awareness of the product because most people have misconception that meat only benefit babies but meat has sufficient nutrition to adults too. So Dutch Lady involved in promotions such as health campaign to promote the goodness of meat to public. Next for the value proposition, Dutch Lady also claim to deliver the Malaysia's number one deliciously tasty fresh yogurt made from the most delicious pure cow's meat and carefully selected high quality fruit. Our yogurt have rich and creamy taste and content taste full pieces of fruit and important nutrients like calcium and vitamin B2. For the customer relationship, Dutch Lady have built strong customer relationship over the past 50 years. Dutch Lady built a direct and good relationship with the customer through online marketing strategy because that allows customer to give suggestions, ask questions and raise concerns, therefore making the customer satisfied. For the channels, although Dutch Lady is the market leader, but we just use a few of strategies in promoting our product. Dutch Lady is recommended to promote the product through online marketing strategy. Because online marketing strategy is less time consuming and easier way to promote the product to the public. Other than that, Dutch Lady also use supermarket chains to mass market. Next, for the customer segment, Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt also could be determined that it does not have any specific segmentation target. Therefore, these yogurt are eaten by people of all ages, sectors, cultures, educational background, regions, and on all occasions. The objective is to refer the best self and career advancements to all family by using the key to their phenomenal goals. In wide range, the target customer are children and family because they are concerned on health. For the cost structure, Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt have a standard retail price across the majority of supermarkets. However, this supermarket will occasionally have an offer or discount available. For the standard 140 gram, the average price is RM2.50 with the standard discount that would be ringgit ninety cent. For the 500 gram tops, the average price is ringgit with the standard discount that would be ringgit. The last element in business model canvas is revenue streams. Dutch Lady has grown 3% in 9 months to date and investment in the strategic pricing to ensure affordability has led to 2.3% revenue decline versus prior year. This would be continue to put effort to improve operational efficiency to stay agile and adapt to the microeconomic headwinds. The main source of revenue would be the ready-packed frozen yogurt in tops which is sold in the supermarket as that has potential to reach a mass market. However, they will also receive a large amount of revenue through their yogurt bars as they are expanding the richest more countries. For the conclusion, Dutch Lady use different promotion strategies to promote our product. Besides, Dutch Lady has come up with a new product development strategy which is Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt. Launching of this new product is to increase sale and also earn more profit. This new product innovation can help Dutch Lady to maintain its loyal customer who are always look for innovative product. And also Dutch Lady can expand business to other country because Dutch Lady products are halal so it will not meet any problem to be sold in these countries. For the appendix, these are the Dutch Lady Racing Yogurt look like. And the other one is consumer credit and trade unit for the Dutch Lady yogurt. And lastly, the poor former income statement for the Dutch Lady product. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention.